It's Nathan Carr from Variety 104 and on this week's video blog we're doing something a little bit different. I took to Facebook and asked you to ask me anything and some of your questions were very bizarre but I'm going to do my best to answer them all so let's get to them. Fran asked if you were on a tropical island for one week which actress would you want with you? That's a great question Fran and I think it's only fair that we let the ladies decide this one so I brought some props. <clears throat> I guess I'd be going with Carrie Underwood. Kate asks, where in time would you go if you had a time machine? If I had a time machine? Let me show you something. This is a time machine I developed all by myself. Watch it go. People, 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 What time is it? It's only been like five seconds. <laughs> I'm in the future! It worked! Right. Carol asks, are you Jamie Carr's brother? <laughs> Carol, funny you should ask that. It happens a lot, and I think it's time to get the answer once and for all. Number 2,463. <sighs> 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 no. Linda asks, when will the freezing cold go away? Great question, Linda. You know what? I'm gonna go have a little talk with our friend, the cold, right now. How do I get out of here? Hey, you! You, right now! You get out of here right now! Nobody likes you! You're cold, and mean, and yucky! Julie, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to the cold weather! Jo Julie, come back! I swear! talking to the cold. Dora asks if you could be a head hockey coach for either Ottawa or Boston, which would you pick? Sure thing, Channing Tatum. I'll show you how to work on the body later, okay? What was that? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> the question. Uh, Dora, good question. Uh, I'm a huge hockey fan, but I am not a fan of either Ottawa or Boston. Uh, I guess if I could pick one to run into the ground miserably as a head coach, I would choose Ottawa. Sorry, Sense fans. Chelsea asks, if you could change one thing in today's society to better improve it, what would it be? That is an awesome question, Chelsea, and thank you for having so much faith in my mental ability. I'm glad you care what I think. Uh, one of the things I would like to see happen in society is the right to play. as a great organization that allows kids across the world who may not be privileged enough to actually get into sports activity. Now, if they're not interested in sports, that's fine. But I think that every child deserves the right to at least participate. I know sometimes money is tough for parents, and getting into some of these sports can be quite difficult, the equipment and whatnot. So I would love to see Right to Play, a great organization, grow, and every child at least have one opportunity to try sports. Thank you again for having so much faith in my intellect. I'm, I'm actually a pretty smart guy, you'd be surprised. I'm okay. You sure? You're okay? I'm okay. Right. Okay. And finally, Melanie is asking you a math question. Katarina and Tom want to buy a rug for a room that is 14 by 15 feet. They want to leave an even strip of flooring uncovered around the edges of the room. How wide of a strip if they buy a rug with an area of 110 square feet? <laughs> nice try, Melanie. But it happens to be that I am a bit of a math whiz. <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. I seem to be getting hung up on 15 times 14. Anybody have an answer as to what that is? I should not have skipped high school math. I don't know. I don't know what she wants. I have zero idea. How can the rug be 14 times 15 times 0xp01? I'm going to use Siri.